I've had two really weird visions in my life. Neither of them do I think come from God the Holy Spirit. I mean, he, uh, Hebrews 1 is so clear mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, in the past God spoke through the prophets and now he's spoken to us through his son. And, and so, but uh, the most recent one, and, and Josh can back me up on this because he was back from the Navy when it happened. Yep. Uh, is, uh, so it's the day before they announced uh, the new Pope. So Pope, Pope that Benedict had resigned and uh, the, you know all the Roman Catholic you know cardinals had met together in the uh, in the uh, Sistine Chapel. I think that's where they do it. You know the, the white and the black smoke and all that kind of nonsense that goes along with their picking process. And uh, and they and they were they had been conclaved up for a bit of time and they had it hadn't come to a decision yet. Every time they took the vote, it was the wrong color smoke. And so went to bed the, that night, the day before the announcement. And about, uh, so it was probably about 5.36 in the morning, I had the most vivid dream slash vision I've ever had. Uh, and, and Josh, uh, we, you know, we, all of the members of our family, we, we are, we're on this application on our iPhones called um, Find Friends. And so, you know, my wife, she can track wherever I go. So if, you know, if I, if I head off to the casino, she can call. No, I never do that. <laughs> yeah. We, um, we, we call it in our family, the eye of Sauron or more specifically yeah. the eye of Sarmom. <laughs> the, uh, the eye of Sarmom. And it, it's a lot easier to letting her know where I am than to get the phone call saying, where are you? Because sometimes <laughs> when I go, when I go shopping, I dawdle. <laughs> so... <laughs> But anyway, so I, I, you know, so there I, I had this, in this, this dream vision, I was in Rome. It was so clear. It was all of these things. And I thought for a second, I said, oh my goodness, if Barb looks at the ISR mom, then uh, <laughs> she's going to freak out because she's going to see that I'm in Rome. You I know? didn't tell her I was going to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell her I was going. So I was really worried. So, uh, so it, it, in this vision, I was heading towards like the back part of the Sistine Chapel. I mean, there was a dumpster and there was a, a doorway that led to a set of stairs that went up and down. And this cardinal came running down the stairs and, and he says, they picked the new pope. And I said, they picked the new pope. I said, what's the name that he's going to take for himself? He said, he's going to take the name of Francis. And, and so, I, and, and no sooner does he say this, I woke up from this dream vision thing. And it was the weirdest experience. And uh, uh, when my wife got up in the morning, I, I got up with her and we were making the bed. And I told her what happened and what, it, and what I'd seen. And she says, that's just weird. And, uh, and Josh, you know, he had just recently come back from the Navy. He was living with us at the time. And I told him about it. He's all, yeah, that's pretty weird, Dad. So three in the afternoon, they announced that, uh, that, uh, that they had picked the new pope. And, and so I was watching Fox News. And, uh, and, and so they, they, you know, in Rome, they cut to the balcony and they said, you know, that they've chosen the new Pope and some lady who was a spokesman said, and he's chosen for his name, the name of Francis. And I, I dropped the, the, the glass of water that I was uh, holding and it broke the glass and, and, and Barb's all, what, what did they name that guy? They said, he's going to take the name Francis. She's all, no way. And, and so what, what, at the moment I sat there and go, okay, this is weird. Okay, because I it, it was such a, a strong vision; it was so clear. And then, and and then I got data that uh, that was clearly you know nine hours ahead of what the announcement was. And and at the time, I sat there and go, you know what? Here's the thing: is is that this this pro, this vision doesn't have a return address on it. I'm thinking, why would God tell me this? Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't make any sense at all that God would tell me this. And I was thinking about it. It's like, had I gone on Twitter, you know, in the morning and shared my dream, I, I could see how this would have played out. That uh, there were people saying, oh, Rosebro, you have a prophetic gift and you deny that the gifts are for today. I mean, it was so clear that I, I'm pretty sure that Patricia King would have sold her mother into slavery in the Sudan to have that kind of prop <laughs> prophetic ability. And, um, and, and it's like the whole thing from beginning to end just... There was n there was never any indicator that said biblically that this I should believe this was from God, and so I just chalked it up to a temptation of the devil, mm -hmm. and uh, and just rested back on Scripture and said, you know, the Bible's sufficient. I don't need any of this stuff, and it's quite the magic trick that I was able to know the name of the Pope nine hours before the Pope's name was announced. But big deal.